Okay. Well, this is the final project for the IT190 class. I'm going to go over the new hardware that we'll be getting to facilitate the merger of company ABC and see what kind of equipment we'll have them loaded out with. Found a deal on TigerDirect.com. We're going to have the PC systems. We'll all have AMD Phenom 2 X4 920 quad core processors with 4 gigs of RAM. One terabyte hard drives, DVD RW drives. Everybody will have Acer SL 20 inch widescreen monitors, a wireless keyboard and mouse loadout, and the PCs will all be running Windows Office 7, Windows 7, Office 2010 Professional, Semantic Antivirus Security Software. We went with this setup because the quad core processor is going to handle be more than strong enough to handle uh, the, any operations and multitasking that PC users will be doing between uh, their daily work through office documents and anything uh, web related and, and uh, any other additional softwares that may be needed for the company as, as needs grow and develop with the company. Also a uh, one terabyte hard drive will be more than enough to store an image of the operating system and load all the programs plus we'll have plenty of other additional local storage for users for files that they may create for projects they'll be working on throughout their daily work. Uh, 4 gigs of RAM was more than enough and more than meets requirements for Windows 7 operating system and the Office system and the 20 inch widescreen monitor will be large enough display that we shouldn't have to be purchasing additional larger screens or anything like that for users you can set a high enough resolution that you'll be able to work multiple windows you know at a good size on the screen and everything else Semantic Antivirus will be one of the local softwares that'll help keep the machine safe and secure we're going to on our marketing department which had expressed a desire to have Macintosh computers found Mac Pro with a similar loadout as a 2.8 gigahertz quad core Intel processor I only have 3 gigs of DDR3 ECC RAM which is very uh, fast and clean RAM uh, it's error correcting as the ECC again a 1 terabyte hard drive should be good enough for projects yeah. uh, has an upgraded video card the ATI Radeon HD 5770 which will also handle their graphics, uh, you know, advanced graphics capabilities for uh, presentations, uh, campaign, you know, working with uh, Corel Studio, Photoshop, and stuff like that. Uh, again, we'll ha uh, has come with an 18x, 18 speed double layer super drive, which is in part of the Mac Pro. And we'll be using, again, the 20 inch widescreen monitors. And I'll uh, be running Snow Leopard, a uh, version of OS X. Uh, latest Macintosh operating system, OS X, which is very uh, good, very stable, and runs quite well. And they'll be running uh, Adobe CS or Corel Suite 5.5, designed premium student slash teacher edition on that system. Um, some network infrastructure devices. We'll have uh, Cisco SL. MT224PTNA uh, Small Business SF224P, which is a 24 port uh, switch, uh, managed uh, switches. We run and I'll have one of those on each floor basically. Um, we should have enough ports for the users for our you know, 50 client um, network along with room for expansion. And those will also be coupled with Cisco RV220W wireless network security firewalls and along with Netgear um, RNR P4420 ready uh, network area storage 3100 um, series which is an 8 terabyte network storage system that we can use for uh, backups of important files our share drive system for any files that need to be shared over the network it will make a shared drive for users on their various VLANs to work with and we can also save an image of the operating system to make um, to minimize downtime for systems and that will be running uh, CAT6 uh, untwisted pair cabling. Uh, some additional peripheral devices we'll have we're going to go with uh, Xerox 
Baser 3600N uh, mono laser printers. Those will be uh, sufficient for printing device for the users. We'll have a handful of those uh, available to the users on the various floors of the building and in different areas. Um, decided we get Xerox 7600 Ultra Slim flatbed scanners, which will be mostly for the marketing department and a few other workstations will have those in case anybody needs to scan outside of marketing for uh, their work. And I was going to go with Motorola Droid 2 phones, which is a uh, newer Droid uh, phone, which we can use for um, mostly for the marketing department. So they have a mobile phone to keep in contact with customer clients on sales calls and everything else like that. So they're always kind of available. And also uh, supervisors will have those in case they need to get words out to their uh, subordinates. It's a general layout of the network design. You see, we we'll kind of break up the users into their various uh, departments, and each department will basically have a VLAN. We'll have the sales VLAN, a management you know, VLAN. Uh, you know, for all the supervisors, will be on their own separate thing. Uh, again, the marketing VLAN, which I just used a different icon to signify that those are the Mac computers, and the IT department will have its own uh, LAN that also can cover the servers and our HR uh, human resources and research development VLAN will be combined because those should be smaller departments. All right, uh, physical layout, like I said, we'll have the switches, one on each floor basically of the building, that way we're not um, running an excess amount of cable you know, between everything, and there'll be firewalls paired up with each of those which will give us greater security so there's not a le uh, weak point or anything in the system between the the virtual lands and just the physical connections and everything else like that there's always a firewall to filter traffic and everything else and help block unwanted uh, attackers and everything else any other threats we could potentially hit up um, when I have the marketing department basically in one room or as close together as possible just to make it easier so they can work together on projects and brainstorm that'll be um, more conducive to their work and then uh, all of the users can pretty much sit anywhere because uh, with the virtual LANs sharing files between each other and everything else like that um, will not be restricted by you know geographic location because everything is virtualized to minimize uh, further network devices and uh, you know any other uh, conflicts with the building layout and everything else like that. Remember we have eight terabytes of network storage for we'll have a shared drive set up. Um, allocated uh, network space that you know users within their own VLAN can access for any sh file sharing needs to make it easier and work on you know collaborate on projects and as well as I said the um, we'll have backup services through that 8 terabytes and also we'll have an image of the PC systems and potentially the Mac systems so in case uh, any machine goes down we can get a backup fairly quick and we have a Sysmax Xeon VLS server uh, running, to the, running uh, Windows Server 2008, uh, which is a 64-bit uh, system for Windows Server 2008, which will manage the um, virtual LANs and you know our, so our server sources, services such as user accounts and everything else like that, which will work quite nicely, and we'll have a few of those. Um, Looking over the costs, um, for all our AMD PC systems, we're looking at roughly $2,500 for just the hardware. Then the Mac systems are going to run uh, a little bit more. Actually, it's not 25 It's AMD systems are 22500 in hardware. Mac systems are going to be $24,050, roughly. Uh, Windows 7's uh, operating system licenses through enterprise uh, licensing uh, approximately 50 licenses will purchase which will be a little bit more than we need that way we have room for expansion and growth as well as Microsoft which is uh, $7,800 Microsoft Office 2010 licenses is going to be $26,850 for the 50 licenses again which also gives us that we have um, some spare systems you know or anything else that we can rotate to it's not gonna get interfered with that way Adobe CS uh, Corel suite or creative suite rather 5.5 is uh, $4,240 for the 10 copies for the marketing department 
uh, QuickBooks for the accounting software for the sales department and uh, accounting. I'll go with about 50 copies of that. It's going to run us about $11,733. Um, caught a deal on the Mac OS X licensing. It's uh, $500 for limited server copies for the um, network enterprise install. So that's good. Um, our firewall is going to uh, all together cost uh, $1,080. That covers one per floor. The Cisco switches is going to be $1,480. Again, one per floor. Where I figure purchased about 10 Xerox printers. Should be more than enough to cover the 50 users, which gives us about a you know five per five user to one ratio if we set all the printers up, or we'll have a couple as backups in case anything goes down and we have to send it out for repairs. I have about 13 scanners, like I said, 10 for the marketing department and a few others. For any other, uh, you know, a few other workstations, we'll have local scanners in case there needs to be something scanned. Uh, Motorola phones were free with uh, new contracts, so it'd be uh, basically up to our uh, phone plan. I would figure about 20 phones. We have the 10 for the marketing department, and then there's another 10 for uh, supervisors and stuff like that. Uh, anybody else that we decide may need a phone for, you know, some reason, we'll have the phones available. Um, for thousands of feet of six uh, Cat six cable was one hundred sixty dollars, and about one hundred fifty dollars on the um, connectors to make up our own cables, which will save us money by us buying um, assorted lengths of cabling. We can just make our own and it'll save us uh, money. Um, the servers for three servers will be forty eight hundred dollars, and the uh, our storage network that Netgear terabyte is forty eight hundred dollars as well. Um, as far as security goes. Managed switches are going to monitor um, port traffic and everything, and that'll help us uh, give greater control over the network and what's coming in and what's out. Firewalls also block um, traffic and can also provide us a DMZ setup to better filter out um, outside traffic. And all the PC systems, like I mentioned, will have the semantic antivirus loadout, and mobile devices will try and load out with a uh, antivirus app to try and protect them from any third party applications and try and restrict that uh, use policy as well. And that's mostly for uh, our email system, we'll be able to link it up with an enterprise email as well as voice communication, you know, regular phone services for those people. Uh, virtual LANs will help protect our other systems, and block our traffic through access controls and who has access to the various systems, as well as um, cuts down on. Uh, additional hardware that could be needed so that's all a very good uh, move for us to use that you can hear my sort resources we're at tigerdirect.com uh, for a lot of the equipment mac models where i found the mac pro system uh, microsoft licensing information came from microsoft's website as well as the um, and there's the intuit for the quickbooks pricing that covers that